Yeah. Twin Spot. Uh, there's a video on your Twitter. Um, yeah, I it's mean, about real estate. Yeah. Man, your, your Twitter feed is crazy. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, can we play that? Read the tweet. Hi, uh, my name is Rich oh. Siegel. Um, I'm a 25-year homeowner here in Teaneck. I'm Jewish. The reason that I'm telling you that I'm Jewish is because I have a concern about something that's going on in the Jewish community. On March 10th, there is scheduled to be an Israeli real estate sales event at the Keter Torah Synagogue. That event <laughs> violates both domestic law and international law. Violates domestic law because we had a Civil Rights Act in 1965 and a Fair Housing Act in 1968. We don't allow real estate events to be for whites only, for Jews only, for anybody only. Now, as Jews, we don't get to fly under the radar and break the law and hide it in the synagogue. It violates international law because uh, West Bank settlement homes are going to be available for sale at this real estate event. On the website, it lists three different West Bank settlements. Those settlements are in and of themselves illegal by international law. If we allow this sale to go through, we are enabling a local synagogue to violate both domestic anti-discrimination laws and international law. Now, there's other reasons we shouldn't allow it, okay? There's a genocide going on right now. I don't care who that offends. More than 35,000 people have been killed. More than 13,000 children have been killed. People in this community are in deep mourning. People in this community are angry. I'm angry. What this real estate event is going to do is it's going to fan the flames. If it goes forward, there will be a demonstration. I know there's going to be a demonstration because I'm going to organize it. It will be very well attended. What I'm saying needs to be done is I don't know how much power this mayor and this council have to actually shut down the event, but I know you have the power to recommend that it be shut down. And I'm asking you to please do it. We don't need to have more divisiveness in this community, okay? We don't need to have Jewish privilege rule the day by saying we're entitled to break the law and have this real estate event and not care about how so many people in this community feel about it. Thank you for letting me speak. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. There's, this, you know, selling homes for Jews only. In like, the West Bank. Yeah, the West Bank, that means these homes owned by Palestinian families living there. So you can buy them and they're going to kick them out. And the armies do it as a forum. It's just, it's absolutely wild they do this. Yeah. And, the sec the, you know, and the conservatives who talk about Second Commitment being like, I would defend my land. Mm -hmm. They're calling these guys terrorists getting kicked out of their home. It's like, yeah. people just, they're just not educated in what's going on. I think yeah. it's, it's hard to admit you've been fooled for all of us. Mm -hmm. I hate it when I'm wrong about something because I'm yeah. really wrong. When you, mm -hmm. when you reflect and you're like, damn, I had that. I had that it's kind of embarrassing you know but i think yeah. people need to really look and i had to admit i was issue. wrong i was a democrat for you for <laughs> years yeah until i started listening to the other side yeah yeah, yeah i kind of leaned i was never hard into politics but kind of leaned uh mm. leaned democratic dude i remember I standing in line voting for al gore because <laughs> i thought george bush was racist i vote for clinton about voted for al gore Vote for all them yeah, fools. I, think I did vote for Al Gore. It's kind of embarrassing. Right now. Oh, man, he was a robot. I don't even that think was he a long was time real. ago, at least. <laughs> but wait, I was against George Bush. George Bush is pretty bad, though, too. So yeah. 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 That's how we got the first black president. That dude, man, this dude sucked. <laughs> Let's give this Negro a shot. <laughs> he was even worse. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you don't well, if you don't follow politics, all the you know the celebrities are all pushing the Democrats. So you just see this, this, mm -hmm. this, and you're just like, oh, I, I guess that's the that's the good team. Yeah, yeah. Do you think it's a too strong of a word to call it a genocide? Not really, man. I think yeah. the, the massacre they're doing. I think they're just mm -hmm. doing it slow. They know they can't kill them all once. They're trying to slowly massacre them. They're yeah. they're waiting for someone in Europe or in the Middle East. They're like, all right, we'll take them. Yeah. No well, matter how you, you kill spend children, it, yeah, that's a genocide. No matter however you spend it, it's ethnic cleansing. Oh, it's just. It's just I mean, that's a that's a euphemism. 
a euphemistic word for genocide, but that's what that's what's going on. I yeah, think. I think you know if they could internationally, they would just drop. You know, they would go and just massacre every single one. They would. That wouldn't yeah. look good. So they're trying to do it slowly to get them out. You know what? Uh, conservatives, we supposed to be pro life. Yeah, it, right. ca- it comes off like su- such a c- contradiction because you care about more about babies inside the womb instead of outside. You got thousands, tens of thousands of children being murdered, and you're okay with that. Yeah, being a conservative has been really disappointing and seeing all, yeah. the, all the politicians. Def- uh, yeah. Then all, every politician I see defending it, I go and mm-hmm. look and track their APAC money and I see how mm-hmm. much they've been paid. And this is money coming directly from Israel, yeah. which is supposed to be illegal. You know, Russians can't, can't yeah. pay our politicians. But, yeah. why, but why do we let Israel pay them? It's absolutely insane. That's people a great just, point. And people just sit back and act like it's no big deal. If the They're, Republicans got any kind of money from Russians, <laughs> but they yeah. get it from Israel, it's completely they, fine. They pay both sides yeah. is the problem. APAC pays both sides. And they openly brag on their own website they win 98, 7% of the people they pick because they have so much money to fund and pump mm-hmm. in. So wow. people, so all, everyone's scared of uh, APAC. They jump in and they want APAC to support them. Yeah, so Other than a few a, people, Thomas Massey's been good. There's only a couple politicians. Yeah. Yeah, it, man, that's crazy. And I, I, I'm not, I, I don't hate Jewish people. I'm just like, I just hate when I see somebody that's disadvantaged mm-hmm. and taken advantage of. Nope. Not only did you displace all these Palestinians that was originally there, that made up Jews, Arabs, and, and so forth, now you're going into the West Bank and now you're mm-hmm. taking that land from. Mm-hmm. And, and the West Bank has no Hamas. People don't realize that. They're no like, Hamas. Oh, well, it must be Hamas. Like, this is a separate yeah. part because they've already taken most of the land. And now there's just a couple little sections, there's a tiny little strip left in the Gaza. Mm-hmm. And there's these tiny little strips in the West Bank, and they're slowly just suffocating it all. Seriously. And, we're, and we're, the world's going to allow it because they pay all the politicians. Yeah. And, you know, I love Trump and all, but he takes a lot of money from Israel, too. Yeah. His top donors or, mm-hmm. or Israelis or tied in with the Israeli government. Yeah, he does. Yeah, it's one of the situations you see it as frustrating. And like I said, also yeah. there's the black, blackmail element. It's, uh, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, like I said, Epstein, but this is something, you know, the Jewish mafia has been doing for a long time. The Meyer yeah, it was Lansky. out here in Vegas, right? Yeah, they the helped. Jewish the Jewish mafia are some of the main funders, founders of Vegas. Yeah. It was like, they were as big as the Italian mafia, but for some reason, can't figure out why, Hollywood doesn't make any movies about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure who runs Hollywood, but. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, it's definitely worth- not the Jews, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Lansky had blackmail J. J. Edgar Hoover, one of the founders of the FBI, who ran it yeah. for, for 37 years. He was like uh, a complete dictator of the FBI. Right. He had the dude dressed like a woman giving like someone a blowjob. This is like this is like what? a known thing. Yeah. He ran blackmail operations, and he had J. Edgar Hoover. This is, I reckon people look this up because they're not going to believe it. Right. Yeah. He had him blackmailed. So that's why he could do, that's All the mafia went to jail. Meyer Lansky never went to jail. So blackmail has been something they've been doing for a long time. And he was tied in with Israel, too. Yeah, we got... Yeah. yeah, we got an important announcement for y'all. A damn important announcement. Show sure do. The value of the American dollar is getting weaker and weaker. And don't believe Biden and his lying media. He's a liar. He, yeah, when he tell you there's no inflation. Inflation's going crazy. Look, you see it all around you. You got grocery bills, real estate market, gas prices. Everything's going up. Everything's going up. Yeah, it's because the strength of our dollars going down. Just like y'all, we've been trying to find different places to put our money. Keep it secure because every day the Fed Printed money. Yeah, like it's non stop. Like, like it's monopoly money. <laughs> and of course, mainstream news outlets. Yeah, they ain't not, gonna talk about it. Yeah, they're not gonna cover it. So we go to Dr. Kurt Elliott for all our economy updates. That's a damn good white man. Damn good white That's man. That's a damn good white man. And he's smart too. Yeah, he is. Dr. Kurt Elliott is a precious metals expert and has been working in the gold and silver market for over 20 years. That's, that's a long time. Yes. 20 years? Yeah, that's why we partnered with Dr. Kurt. Go to harshtwinsgold.com. Signing up is totally free, and Dr. Kurt's team of advisors will listen to all your concerns you may have about your economic future and talk you through the right plan that especially fits your needs. Go to harshtwinsgold.com. It's not our goal. It's just our website. Go to <laughs> harshtwinsgold.com right now and secure your economic future today for you and your family. Man, I wish I had me some gold in my basement. Yeah.